practice is a learning partnership. A work group may or may not be a learning partnership. A work group, they have to do something, they have to accomplish something. They may or may not be a community of practice. It's something empirically to be determined. <coughs> I would even say further that the question of whether a group the, the question is not so much whether a group is or is not a committee of practice. The question is more pragmatic than that. The question is, is it useful to view it as a committee of practice? And then is it useful to develop it as a committee of, pra of practice and apply to it the kind of apparatus, or learning apparatus that comes with a committee of practice? So, take a team. A team usually is not a committee of practice because a team just has a task they have to accomplish. There's, there's no learning partnership there a priori. There may be, but you know, should the electrician know what the plumber does? Well, they just need to coordinate enough so that their, their work can proceed, right? So a team may or may not be, uh, uh, require a, a, a learning partnership. If you think that a team needs also to become a learning partnership, perhaps a team that has a long, a long life and they need to have cycles of reflections, and that, this is a different thing, you know? And you may then apply to it the kind of learning activities that, that we have seen communities uh, engage in. And so, what do communities of practice bring to organizations that other forms of group don't? Basically, I would answer that by saying, the community of practice is a vehicle by which an organization can place the development of strategic capabilities in the hands of the practitioners. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It has to be. If it doesn't, let me know. But I think it's, it's not replacing the training department, but it's a very different. If you think, oh, we need, this is a strategic capability in our organization. We need to have people who are good at sales core, right? And you decide, we're going to create a course in a training department to teach people how to do good sales calls. It's a very different approach than to say, people who do these sales calls need to form a community of practice so that they can take into their own hands the development of that capability. So that's what a community of practice does. It's not a, it's not a solution for everything, but if you are in an organization and you need to, you, you start thinking about strategic capabilities and the development of strategic capabilities, one question that you could ask yourself is, where are the practitioners who need to apply that strategic capability? And would it be a good idea for them to take some responsibility collectively for developing that capability in the organization? And what would they need to, to be able to do that? And what voice then do we need to give them in the running of the organization if they take that responsibility? Yeah. 